what it do, man? And I know y'all probably looking at the video like, damn, nigga, really? 21 minutes? A 21 minute park video? Yeah, it's 21 minutes, man. But all you can do is just sit back, chill, go grab you something to eat, go grab you something to snack on, man. And uh, hopefully I can keep you entertained these whole 21 minutes, man. Y'all already know how I do. I gave y'all that short ass four minute video yesterday. I said I can't leave the people hanging like that. That little short ass video that I said I'd never put up. I actually broke my own damn promise and I was like, you know what, just for that, I gotta come back and give these guys something more. You know, give them, uh, give them some good content, man, but even in the four minute video, you have to say that. I did bring good content, that, that's exactly what I do. I get this out to rated elite right here, man. Uh, like I say, you know, whenever y'all wanna run with me, all y'all have to do, shoot me a message over Xbox and we can run, man. That's what this guy did, I'm, you know, we just gonna call him Chris. We ain't gonna call him by his whole name. We're gonna call him Chris. And Chris, he bought um one of his guys off his uh you know one of, from one of his squads, rated elite. Look at me just going in and smashing on. I, hey, you know I don't smash on anybody. But I was in old town. I said I, since I'm out of town, I want to act a fool. You know, usually you know you want you see me, I'm just dunking all the damn time. But since the flies are known for their cheesy ass dunks, uh, I said I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try to give me a couple of my damn self. But, uh, man, I mean, we came out, and we were just trying to hold down Sunset. We went out to Rivet, and we held down Rivet. Now it's time to come out to uh, Old Town to see what we can do out here, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm running with Chris, running with some one of his uh, guys from one of his squads. And, uh, I mean, you know, we don't have that chemistry, but you will never tell when we get out here, man. Communication is key. If you don't have, you know, the chemistry that you know to have with anybody else, or if you're running with your own squad, the best thing you can do is communicate. And that's exactly what we did, man. We had to get out here and communicate with each other. But you can see, man, this is almost a blowout. I mean, it really can't be a blowout on the park, but I mean, if you're not scoring, in double digits, I almost consider it a blowout. So we get one game out of the way, get y'all asses off of the court. But I think this guy's gonna hop right back on and get this work again. I don't know. I I think they are. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go into the next game, man. You know, we come out here. We the only thing we thinking on our mind is we want to streak on the park. We want to come out here to Old Town, and we want these people to raise. That we want, we want you to raise your screen up. You know how you raise your screen up and see what the score is on every court. We want to, we want y'all to see that fire symbol, and right above that fire symbol, we want to show y'all that we streaking on y'all shit, man. Sunset Park, we coming out here. I, I call it, I always call it Sunset Park, man. I'm thinking of the movie. You know, y'all remember Sunset Park, man. Sunset Park. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that movie. Y'all, I got the song all wrong, but shit, man. That was Fredro Star, man, and back in the '90s. That, I love that fucking movie. One of the best basketball movies ever made. Not the best basketball movie. My favorite basketball movie of all time is Above the Rim. The Sunset Park is uh, a close second, man. But uh, yeah, y'all see me. I'm in the broadcast cam right now, but I will change it back. As you see, I did go back to the 2K mode. Um, I said if I did come out here on the park, I'm not going to just make y'all suffer and watch 21 minutes of broadcast cam. I said, you see the screen is jumping though. That's the reason why I switched it. Uh, you can see my screen jumping. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I mean the lag is real. But I said I'm going to go ahead and fight through it just so y'all can watch these videos the way that y'all normally watch them. I said I would go ahead and just, uh, you know, put my gameplay on the line as far as, you know, how well I shoot and how well I release, you know, the ball at the top of my jump. But, uh, you know, I said I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice everything just so y'all can watch the game the way that y'all normally watch the game. But, I mean, look at that rating. He got the steal, and he went up and dropped him off from the free throw line, man. We're up right now by two in this game. And, uh, yeah, I think these are some of the same guys that, that got their ass kicked the first time. And uh, let me take this time out because I did talk about the other squad and them getting that work. You know, getting their ass beat. They coming right back out here getting that work. Uh, yeah. Chris and Rated, those outfits y'all got on, my nigga. Y'all looks tacky as fuck. I don't know what y'all was thinking when y'all put that shit on. I was coming out here. I'm trying to come out here and court. Y'all see me. Y'all give me the ball. I ain't gonna miss twice in a row. I had to drop them off of three. They not even respecting my range out here. They don't know me out here yet. But soon y'all will, man. But, uh. Yeah, let me get back to the fuck shit that these boys is doing right now. You see, Chris, he has on a pink sleeve. Not all, just not, I mean, he has a pink sleeve on his arms and his legs. 
some silver J's. I, I ain't never seen no shoes like that. His shit was blinding me. It was blinding me more than the sun. Now that sunset, man, I don't know what the fuck. Chris, don't you ever put this shit back on, man. You look, both of y'all niggas look like y'all didn't even stop by the 2K store. It look like you niggas on the way to Old Town. You stopped the Goodwill and y'all saw whatever was on sale because y'all didn't want to pay regular price for the shit that's already cheap in the store already. Y'all went to the to the variety rack and got some shit off of there and just said, you know what, let me go ahead and get this, uh, let me put this on for the park and we're going to come out here and play. This nigga got on a cowboy hat with this shit too. Now one of them niggas ain't matching. And rated my nigga, you got on basketball shorts with a damn button down, my nigga. Really, my really, is that what we doing? I mean, I was almost embarrassed to come out here and you know play with these boys, but at the same time, we killing, we streaking out here, we streaking out here. We up to a two game winning streak, and you know we got to go again. Uh, another squad is coming out, and I mean, you know, they see us and we streaking on their park. So anybody that play against us, they gonna want us to, they want want to end the streak. Cause I see, if I see anybody here on Sunset. And I have my squad out, and I see you streaking on my part. The first thing I want to say is, you know, the first thing I want to do, I'm like, okay, they streaking on the part, man. They can't be streaking on Sunset, so let's go over here, over here and just try to end the streak. Not only will we probably end the streak, we'll probably end the streak and then hop, hop off on some uh, fuck shit and just, uh, you know, we're not going to play y'all again. We just want to end y'all streak and then hop off just to add insult to injury to piss y'all off even more. But, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I do. But look at this, man. Chris going in for that dunk with that ugly ass outfit that he's wearing. But, man, I mean, we out here, we balling, man. We going against these flyers. Y'all know flyers, man. They didn't want to come out here at first. I was like, man, I'm tired of sunset. I'm tired uh, of, of, of that damn sun on sunset, man. I want to go somewhere else, you know. And, uh, you know, I said, let's go ahead and go out here to, to Old Town. And these guys were like, we don't want to go to no Old Town. Because just as much as y'all call us cheese, man, Old Town is cheese. It's fucking me going in for another dunk. Like I told y'all, it's Old Town, so I got to show out a little bit. I got that throwback Elgin Baylor blue jersey, you know. That was Elgin Baylor. That was back in the early Lakers game. Like, that, that was like when they first came to uh, L.A. When they colors were still blue. But uh, with the blue jeans and I got the Kobe's on, you know, the high top Kobe's. I think those are the Kobe 9s that I'm rocking. But I, I came out here, I tried to coordinate, unlike my teammates, they come out here with the fuckery. And uh, I said, I'm going to just go ahead and ball with y'all anyway. But if they ask me about y'all, if anybody asks me, do I know you, I'm going to just straight up disown you. I'm going to say, I don't know who the hell these niggas is. They follow me, the old town. I didn't have anybody to squad up with. And uh, that's how we end up meeting. But other than that, we ain't squad up in this game if somebody would have asked me who the hell you rocking with. Because uh, these, I can't get over these outfits, man. The outfits is looking terrible. But, I, I mean, that's, okay, I got to get off the outfits. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm still tripping on what these niggas is wearing right now. But uh, they, they not respecting my range out here, man. And I knocked them down for two, man. They not respecting my range. You got to respect my hot top fade and my range out here. Y'all used to niggas coming out here and dunking, but y'all already know, man. We shooters. Sunset Park, we are shooters, man. That's what we do. But uh, now, I mean, we, we killing these guys also. We have a... Pretty much what we have a six point lead out here, man. There's nothing these guys can really do with us. Go ahead and give me that. I'm gonna throw an alley to myself. The ultimate disrespect. Anybody, anytime somebody throw an alley off the backboard to themselves, I call that the ultimate disrespect. So that's exactly what I did. I already knew what I was doing, man. I have seven points out here. Chris wanted to get his game winning shot. I said, Go ahead and just get these niggas off the court, man. And we're up to a three game winning streak man we don't want three in a row come on old town we need somebody to get us off the court and uh oh after i said that look what we have three damn legends we have two i think we had what one legend one and two legend twos but uh but yeah we have all legends out here you know two of them has a shirt off one of them got that hot ass coat on but i said you know what this is gonna be the ultimate test man we're going against some cheesy ass legends out here man that's two things you can't put together and that's a legend and an old town flyer because putting them two together that's gonna equal cheese man it's gonna equal a whole lot of cheese out here and you already know these guys came out here to stop our streaking right here i'm giving them that green release giving him that green light and you already know when you get that green light that means i got a hit out on your head and you know it's official it's coming through but uh 
uh, these, he's, look at him. He want to go in with all the dunks and shit, but we play good defense right here. I grab the rebound. I'm like, just go ahead and leak out. Go ahead and get it back out to Chris. I'm like, Chris, go ahead and drop him out, man. What you waiting on? He got that ugly ass outfit with them cowboy hats, and he goes in for the layup. I was like, smart move, because we just don't want to put up bad shots against a whole bunch of legends, man. We just can't come out here and just throw up twos and acting like we just some sharpshooters out here. We want to win. This is the game that we really wanted to win. Look at this guy. He's trying to be the professor out here and doing all these damn dribbles in the backcourt and uh, pulls up that bad shot, but this big tall ass 7-3 nigga, this small forward. He's supposed to be a center, but he's a 7-3 uh, small forward. He's supposed to be a 7-3 center, but he's a 7-3 small forward. He's just getting all type of rebounds over me. I could not rebound on this dude, and right now it's still a close game, 2-2 two to two right now. If we was going to get see anybody else, we'll probably be up 2-7 uh, to seven or something like that, but Chris, he comes through with that range, man. They're not respecting his range. They, you should respect his outfit. Don't respect that outfit, and especially that damn cowboy hat, but you got to respect his range. And right now, this guy's just going back and forth. We get the block. Chris get the block. I get the uh, loose ball. Get it out to Rady. Rady goes in for the dunk, and now we're about three. I was like, okay, we got a little bit of breathing room for right now, but in order for us to keep this lead, and for, in order for us to go ahead and win this game, we have to play smart basketball. And then he knocks down a two, man. I don't know if that was LeBron's release. It looked like he was fading on that. You know when LeBron shoot, man, it looked like the nigga fade, like he leaning with it or some shit. But right here, we we have a pretty good lead. We go up. Right here, we're up by four. 17-11. We have the ball right here. I get it out the rated. Rated, he pulls up this two, and he makes it, man. I mean, I was like, damn, rated. This dude rated, man, is like one of the best teammates I done ever played with. Rated, he's a very good shooter, but the thing is, what he do, he gets rebounds and he gets steals. He does all the dirty work. He was like the Joe Kim Noah of our team. And speaking of him, he gets that game winning shot. And we beat these legends' asses for a four game winning streak. If you want to run with somebody, you want somebody like Rated on your team who doesn't care about scoring. They just want to go out there, get rebounds, get blocks, get steals. They want to do all the dirty work. And that's one of the best players that, we can, that you can never have on your team. And look, they came right back, these legends. Look, the one in the middle, he had on that jacket. Now he want to pull his shirt off, want to show his chest and shit like he mean business. Come back on out here and get this ass whooping. Y'all already got y'all asses scraped the first game. Come on back here and get your rematch so we can bust y'all ass again because our main objective is to go on the five game winning streak let's see if we can do it though they came right back the same legends busted two i say rated they not respecting your range because they not they not used to seeing rated shoot the ball because right he would have a wide open shot and he would pass you the ball because he's not selfish at all man right now they have a one point lead it's three to two and look at my terrible defense he just get right past me for the dunk i was like oh shit here we go we can't do that we can't allow that to happen we're down by two in this game i was kind of hating that we gave these guys they rematch, but I was like, hell no, let's go ahead and do it, man. We had a chance to hop off. We was like, fuck no. If y'all want to get y'all rematch, let's go ahead and let's get it on. And right here, that's Chris going to the basket. Don't pull up, none, you know, unnecessary tools. Go in for your dunk. Get your one point. We'll fight through it like that. We just can't pull up bad shots right here. We get the steal. Chris, he bats the ball. Makes it, uh, he taps to lose. I get it back out the red. I'm like, ready, show him you can shoot. And Raider drops him off and gives us the one-point lead. It's four to five. Right now, we're up by four. I had to transition, man. This is a long-ass video. Y'all know I can't put every fucking basket in the damn video. But look, I'm going to the basket, showing out on old time. Look at Raider. He back there. They follow him and Chris back there falling, letting them know like, shit, man, I can't believe you're doing all this damn dunk. i like, I can't believe it either. I can't believe this shit either because y'all know I'm soft as fuck when I come down to, you know, dunking and shit. I can't do it right here. He pulls up a bad shot. He's trying to pull up tools. He's trying to be like us, but you can't be like us, man. That was Chris saying greetings from Sunset, man. Letting everybody know at Sunset we holding it down out here for him over at Old Town, man. And we have a big lead. I think this guy just gave up. He just holding the ball. He pissed off right now because he went and took off his jacket. You know, he done got it showing his little bird chest. You know, acting like he mean business. He pulls up this bad shot and we get the rebound. Chris has it. And uh, I'm like, Chris, just take your time. Whatever you want to do, we can go out here and do it, man. Chris, he's going to go out. He's going to pass it out to me. I'm like, green release, bitch. You better respect my range these legends man it, we only have one legend out here and that's chris me and rated we are all-star threes we do not we are not legends man we have three legends out here and man i mean these guys cannot beat us for some reason so uh are we going to go against another squad give us a new squad please because these legends ain't having it and oh god damn these legends done came back again they, they don't know when they don't they 
they haven't learned yet, y'all. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's their pride. They, they pride just can't let them just it, they can't let it go. That sunset is whooping their ass right now, man. Hashtag I don't get tired. These are this the Kevin Gates squad, nigga. I don't get tired of getting my ass whooped by sunset because these niggas just did not give up, man. And right here I had a ball. You know I'm going to the basket. I'm going for the dunk. I'm like, come on, 2K. You can't allow me to just miss a dunk like that. Man, I'm like, I was so pissed off right there. And they go for a 2-0 lead. And I was like, okay, here we go, y'all. 2K is probably going to try to look out for them. They're not going to let these three legends lose three times in a row. So you already know they're going to give them an upper hand in their court, man. They're at home. So I already know they're going to give them an upper hand. But right here, Chris playing very good deal. I'm like, Chris, tie the game up, please. And he does just that. It's 2-2 two to two out here. They can't, man. They're not respecting our range out here still. They know what we can do. They don't play this three times, man. Y'all already know what we can do. Y'all need to go ahead and get y'all respect. That's what they're doing. They, instead of them fighting for a win right now, I think the most that they were doing, they were fighting for respect. Because if you if you a legend, man, and you have a squad, I mean, these guys are squadding up. You know, these are just not three legends just hop on the guy next. These guys squatted up. And, you know, and they lost to us two times in a row at the, at this point, man. And they just couldn't let their pride go. It was like, okay, man, it, it, it's not even about a win right now. Look at that green release, putting that green light on his head. Let them know it's official, man. But, uh, you know, right now, they just fighting for respect, man. It ain't even about the win. It ain't even about the W. It's about, you know, us leaving this court and saying, okay, y'all gave us a fair game. And we give y'all respect. But you can't get that respect unless you win, my nigga. That's the only way you get that respect. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, nobody, I can't, I couldn't give LeBron, even though I'm not, I ain't nobody, I ain't shit, man. I couldn't give LeBron respect until he won the damn championship. You can be the best out here, but, you know, Kobe, he's the best, and he backs it up with five rings. But you can't come out here and call yourself the best and call yourself this and that when you ain't won shit. You got to go out there and win, my nigga. That's just, that's just the real world, man. So, I mean, these guys are fighting for their respect, but we don't want to give it to them. That's the thing, you fighting for your respect, but we don't want to give you that shit, man. Because we don't have no respect for you, nigga. Look at this guy pulling up this long three. And I mean, they fighting for their lives. It's 13 to 12. It's a close game. We're down by one. It's getting down to almost to the end of the game. I'm like, come on, y'all. Let's lock up. Let's put that lock on defense and we get that uh, stop. But he gets the offensive rebound, man. He's trying to go out. He's going in for the dunk. And he goes right past me, man. And now it's game. It, it's game point for them. It's 14-12. I don't want them to score. I'm like, y'all, whatever y'all got to do, please don't let them score. Do not let these guys score, man, because we're down by two. It's game point. And look at Rated Elite, Mr. Reliable, getting that steal. I'm like, don't force up anything. Get it out to me. Let me go ahead and tie it up. And I tie the game up 14 to 14. It's not over yet, y'all. It's not over yet. It's 14 to 14. You got to I mean, the game go to 15, but you got to win by two. This guy, he's trying to force it, but I'm playing that very good D out here. And I get that loose ball. And he's trying to strip. I mean, he's doing all kinds. He did strip me. I get the turn off. I'm like, no, 2K, please don't do this, man. So they has the ball right now. What I'm telling them and what we're telling each other, do not give up a two. Do not give up a two. Whatever you do, don't give up that damn two. So if he's zigzagging, which is what he's doing right now, just stay with him. Stay on your feet. I told him. They can go in for the dunk all they want. Stay on your feet. And look at the Elite, man. He's playing that very good lockdown D. Stand on his feet. He try to, he forces it up. And we get the defensive rebound. Ready Elite has it. He's running with it. I'm like, Ready Elite, get it out to me. Or whoever that's open. I'm like, come on, Chris. Just go for the one. Smart basketball. Whatever you do, it. I mean, you can miss a two, but at the same time, now you got to guard the two again. So now we have the one-point lead. So we have the upper hand for right now. He pulls up this two. He misses. He gets the offensive rebound, of course. Get it back out to us, man. He shoots a two. He misses. Chris is get that defensive rebound. I'm like, get it out to me. But then I have it. But then I lose the ball out of bounds. It's off of me. I'm like, shit, 2K. Really? Is this what y'all going to do? I could have just won a game right here. They have the ball back right now. They're taking it out. I already know what they want to do, man. They really want that, too. But I told him, stay on your feet. I almost get a steal right there, but it goes out of bounds. I'm like, come on, man. I could have, that was my steal. I knew where the ball was going, but they would not let me steal that ball, man. Right now, we're still up by one, 14 to 15. He has the ball. He's going back and forth, zigzagging. He's trying to get that two, and he gets the block. Ray gets that block, man, but he gets the ball right back. And now he's going to pull up a two with his guy. Well, he's going to pump fake, and he thought it was a two. He knocks it down, but it was only a one. Thankfully, so now all we have to do is win by two. I'm like, do not pull up a bad shot. Rated, he pulls up a shot, he makes it. He thought it was a two. He was happy. We all was happy, but it ended up being a one. You know the corner twos are broken. No matter how far you are behind the line, they still count it as a one. So I was pissed off at that point. Right there, they got the game 
tired on an easy ass layup. That's because we were so pissed off that that wasn't two. Right now, 16 to 16. I pull up this terrible ass shot. Almost airball the shit. I'm like, they like, no, no, you can't do that. I'm telling myself, I'm like, I'm sorry, y'all. Let's just go ahead and lock up. That's all we can do. Lock up, Brady. Don't let him get that off. He kissed the shot off. He misses. We get the rebound. I'm like, Chris, whatever you do, don't pull up a bad, dumb, stupid ass shot. Give me the ball. I'm not going to miss. He's, he's, he's looking at they following us, y'all. They following us. They do not want us to score. They, they followed us so much on this possession. Man, I had to cut out some of this shit, man. Little Raider, he going way back court because he don't want to get fouled, man. They, they spamming that steal button. You can see them, man. They spamming that steal button. They do not want us to score. They trying to get that steal, so they spamming that X button. Right here, you get it out to me. I'm not going to pull up this shot. I said, no, you got to pass it out. I pass out the shot. I'm like, Raider, whatever you do, don't pull up a bad shot, but get it out to me. I promise I'm not going to miss. You get this shot out to me, I promise you I'm not going to miss it. That's game, bitch. Three games in a row. Three legends, y'all niggas don't get no respect out here. That's six games in a row that we done won on fucking Old Town, nigga. What can you say about that? Where's your manhood? We done stripped your manhood without raping you, my nigga, but we did rape you in Old Town. That's exactly what we do, man. And I mean, I was so hyped, we was so hyped on it. I was like, y'all just hop off the fucking court. Let's swag off this bitch. We done with these niggas, man. They can't fucking beat us. Just swag off the fucking court, man. If y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up, man. Because we came out here, we handle these niggas like it was nothing. That's what we do, man. It's your boy Shout Dog. I'm shouting out. Y'all have a good one.